seems that our super bird is ready for the cherry on the top of the cake. Yeah. He has been working so hard at getting everything built out, done a great job. You utilized a lot of original openings in the course support that would have been for AC lines and things like that. And that's, that's awesome, it's a good job, I love it. Yeah. So now the uh, two and a half ton nose cone is ready to go <laughs> on, the cherry on the top. So on the conversion kit to take the Roadrunner from a Roadrunner and turn it into a super bird, we bought that kit from Ted Janik. What you're doing is you're taking parts that were made originally out of steel and or aluminum and you're changing them to a fiberglass. This was something Ryan deserves total hats off to. I mean, Ryan did a fabulous job, you know, fabricating all the pieces that actually go into this nose. I don't know how many hours we got into that nose, but uh, it looks phenomenal. So right now he's just finishing sucking down all the bolts on it. When he's done, he can wire the headlights so they'll work and then he'll go back to putting the rest of the interior together. Yep. Nice. So now that the big part of the Superbird is together that make it a Superbird, like the, the nose cone and the wing, I can go ahead and start putting the graphics on. The big Plymouth down the side, I gotta do that. I got the standing bird. I'll tell you, he's awesome. I mean, the guy can lay down decals almost blindfolded. Decals can be a real bear, all right? They can be a pain in the butt. And if I screw it up, I'm screwing up my own work, so I have to write the check. I think Mark kind of chomps at the bits watching the cars out here whenever they get down to the point where it's uh, ornamentation on the car, you know, whether it be body tags or especially decals. So it's great when you have my reference room with the original diagrams, the original blueprints of how things went, the exact piece of paper that 50 years ago, snapshot in time, another guy was using to put the same graphics on. Everything came out great on the Superbird. Succeeded perfectly at installing a Superbird decal kit from our friends at Phoenix Graphics. You're welcome, I made y'all look good. That big huge Plymouth on the side there on the quarter panel is just so unique. It just kind of makes the car pop. And of course that Roadrunner, who doesn't like the Roadrunner? Especially when he's holding the helmet because you know he's gonna be going fast. I'm getting down to the wire on the 70 Superbird. What I'm doing right now is installing all the windshield trim on the front windshield. I install it by hand. It's kind of tedious. You, you just kind of get a feel for it. Instant access to the greatest entertainment on wheels. Anytime, anywhere, any device. Subscribe to Motor Trend On Demand and start your 14-day free trial now. Don't miss out.